Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, and if you're a new visitor, thank you for coming on this very, very special day. This is a milestone day for my channel. This is my first smartphone unboxing, and I hope to bring you guys more in the future, but this one was highly needed at the time because my significant other has the worst luck with phones, and we were in need of a new phone. So this is the Blue G9, and this phone stays true to the word budget because it's only $179.99 at Amazon and other retailers. I picked it up on Amazon, and I know there is a special deal out there with this phone first release where people got it for about 130 bucks. I'm so sad I missed out on that deal, but I've tinkered around with this phone for a little while and it is a really nice phone. So I'm going to get this out of the way right now. My channel's a little bit different. It's structured a little bit different compared to other channels. I'm not just going to spec bomb you guys and sit in front of the camera with the phone in my hand, just name all the specs that go up and down the list. I'll casually nonchalantly just throw it in there as I go through this phone. First spec that I will throw out though is that it is not run on a Snapdragon processor. So if those power users out there looking for a long-term device this is not for you this is primarily for my significant other she's a casual user and this actually runs on a MediaTek P22 chipset it says it's an octa-core so it's probably gonna run and last for whatever she needs for the next couple of years but if you're a high-end power user I kind of would stay away from this just because it's not for you it does have 64 gigabytes of storage and 4 gigabytes of RAM so that's enough for all the daily things that my significant other needs despite being a casual user she does have a checklist and this might be the same checklist that people looking at this phone might have as well. First and foremost, she wanted a fingerprint sensor on the back of the phone. She needed a little bit more storage, a little bit more memory, and I said that earlier, has plenty for what she needs, as well as a quick charger with a big battery. So this phone actually has a 4,000 milliamp battery with quick charging, and she also needed something that can run Pokemon Go, and I'm pretty sure four gigabytes of RAM can run it just fine and smoothly. I'll test that out later on in the video. The last thing on her list, which is the most important, oh wait, look, hey, did you guys know that blue stood for bold like us <laughs> anyway she needed a phone with a decent camera and this one actually has a dual main camera with a 13 megapixel plus 2 megapixel depth sensor and flash and this phone is advertised at having a 52 megapixel super zoom capability so <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not all that great but the front selfie camera is actually 13 megapixels and that's pretty much your checklist so if this is your checklist as well this phone might be great for you it might be the next phone on your list aside from the accessories that I already opened up and showed off the cool thing about blue brand phones is that they always give you a screen protector and a case it just makes me so happy when companies go the extra mile and give you everything straight out of the box and here's an upgrade it actually provided a tempered glass screen protector so that saves a good five to ten bucks if you want to buy a pack off Amazon or Best Buy or wherever you go to buy your screen protectors so I'm gonna apply it right now so that these dust mites just still go over on top of the phone I'll try my best to align it and man this lawnmower guy just loves to mow the lawn next door at the same exact time every single time I have to record or do a voiceover for a video. He does it every week and I, I, I don't know if he's just doing it on purpose. But anyway, back to the phone. I'm going to power it up for the first time. Uh, other parts of this video were sped up just for everybody's sake, but I will keep this at real time just to show everybody the startup sequence for the phone. Another thing that I like to do is go through the initialization process just to see if the phone starts up and boots up properly because there are some of these budget phones where it doesn't go past a certain screen and you just have to return it because it was just a lemon from the get-go. So I just want to see if this phone works and gets everything nice and running and at that point I'm just going to speed up the video three, four times just to get through everything. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So here's one of the most important parts for the reason why we bought this phone is to see how responsive the fingerprint sensor is in the back of the device and I'm going to test it out and get my fingerprint initiated right here and see if it opens up nice and easily. So it's reading it very nicely. It's very responsive and knows when I'm just doing duplicate areas of my finger on the device itself and ideally we want this to be a snappy fingerprint sensor and I'm going to test that out thoroughly in a little bit after we get through a few more of these steps. But we should be nearing the last one I'm just gonna not put in my information because it's not my phone so let's close it let's see how fast it opens this is all real time it's actually really snappy it's really good I like it I like it I like it 
Now it's time for the ultimate test for all casual users on why most of them use these phones is to take pictures of random things and post it on Instagram or Snapchat or whatever other <laughs> social media outlet they use. So my recording camera actually isn't capturing how truly bright the phone is. It's not capturing everything to what I'm actually seeing. So I'm going to post the picture after I take each one of these shots side by side to actually show off how good the camera is on this phone. See, it's actually really bright and really nice and has a lot of detail. I'm going to take a few more shots of Bowser Jr. And here's a shameless plug. If you're a fan of Nintendo and or Bowser Jr., please follow my Instagram page at rescue underscore mama underscore peach for all of your Bowser Jr. Nintendo needs. Shameless plug over. So here's the rest of the pictures. I'm actually going to do a video as well. And then I'm going to flip it over to selfie mode. So a few of the options I'm going to mess with right now is flash, no flash, HDR, no HDR. So here's a few shots. Hope you guys enjoy them. So there is a massive crop for the video. The audio you're hearing is from, oh wow. Kind of bleeds it out too. And then it could out focus. So image stabilization isn't the best, but still a pretty clear video. I have a very shaky hand, so. And kind of um, washes out too. The color washes out when you press record. Interesting. So I'm gonna go into selfie mode. Oh. Oh. So aside from that beautiful double chin, <laughs> the selfie mode is 13 megapixels and has a bunch of beauty filters for those who are into that stuff. So the recording crop is massive on this. You can see how close I am. This is actually the same angle that I've been taking all these other pictures. So, it's still a pretty decent camera. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I feel really close though, but I'm not. Alright, back to the video. So it's never a complete smartphone unboxing without the old YouTube test. Pop up my own channel and see how it looks on this little phone and see how it sounds. This is my June 2019 channel update. The channel update <laughs> pretty much covers what my subscribers and new subs can expect for the month. First announcement though, I am very thankful for all of you because the end of May was officially my second year anniversary for my channel revive. And I'm proud to say, finally hit. 3,500 subscribers. So for some weird reason, my lighting sensor on my camera is acting up during that little shot. But the picture is actually really clear. The resolution on this phone isn't the best. It does have a 6.3 inch display screen, but there's also a 720 by 1520 pixel resolution with a 267 PPI. So it's not the worst and it's not the best, but it gets the job done if you want to watch a few videos here and there. So the last test in the checklist that I mentioned earlier was to see if it could run Pokemon Go, see if it runs smoothly, because my significant other is currently running it off of a BlackBerry Key 1, and that's not the world's best phone. It staggers here and there, but so far so good. I think this might be a smoother experience. So it runs Pokemon Go just fine. That's another check on my little checklist. 
Oh, let's test the fingerprint sensor one more time. Nice and snappy still. So here's one more overview, kind of look around of the whole entire phone. It is, once again, a 6.3 inch display, but it feels really nice in the hand. It doesn't feel overly big. Uh, my other phone is a Motorola G5 Plus, and that thing is about the same size and it feels huge. So this one has a good form factor. So once again, this phone is $179.99 on Amazon and other retailers that carry blue brand devices. This phone is an absolute beast for the price and for all the casual users out there, this is the absolute perfect phone for you. I give it a thumbs up and hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Check out these other videos and I will see you all soon. Remember, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if not, hit that notification bell for all my future updates. I'll see you guys later. Bye.